Hello and welcome to my 1,000 subscriber steak special. I'll be honest with you, I know 1,000 subscribers is not the biggest of roadmarks, but it is something I am proud of because it's something I've worked towards and, and you know, maybe it will continue on moving forward, but I thought I'd celebrate it with a steak here and a special video of me actually cooking this steak uh, sous vide. So you get to kind of watch me go through this and probably make mistakes along the way and continue on but first of all a little bit of salt going down not too much steaks will take a lot i know beef takes a lot of uh, salt when you when you kind of want it on but bearing in mind i can put more on at the end and also this is going into a water bath for about two hours at 54 it, you don't want too much on to begin with same with a little bit of ground pepper here i actually wanted some fresh cracked black pepper but i didn't actually have any so this ground stuff i'll have to do for now uh but yeah so i've been doing a uh, youtube for a little while trying to get back into it do my content the thing is i only really like making videos uh i enjoy the topics of so i don't do a lot of reactionary stuff i just do stuff i think the business side is interesting or the ramifications and the explanations and of course the bryce cast the podcast where we talk about call of duty and to the players and the histories and their stories and i'm very much enjoying doing it so it's been something that i've i think is great and to see it grow is very near and dear to my heart and uh, it's a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed and has tuned into my videos and appreciate the comment or left comments on any of them and is a regular listener on twitch or spotify or apple Podcasts for the podcast as well i do genuinely appreciate these numbers and i will be actually ramping up the content uh for the cold war season as well as maybe going into a few other games and, and talking about more stuff i plan on doing way way more videos as the year goes on in fact i'm actually building myself a new content pc as we speak to allow me to render and do things a little bit easier because mine is about five six years old now really getting on and while it's not a terrible inconvenience to to kind of do this it is one of the things like i just want to make sure a little bit easier and as we come to that part in the video i just have to tell you here that this actually went wrong you get to see me fail straight away for some reason my uh, vacuum sealing machine here which is what is happening or should have been happening as soon as I turned it on and, and clamped it down, decided to instantly seal the packet, which is not what you want. You don't want air there because otherwise it doesn't cook properly. So now, <laughs> if you got to the video, I'm a little bit exasperated. I go look in the box for a new bag. I go look <laughs> to see if I can do anything. And I think maybe I can cut this one a little bit neatly uh, and get it done. Unfortunately, that knife is all on useless. So I have to go get a pair of scissors. But yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. The, the machine was not playing ball with me. And it has to be kind of vacuum sealed to, to make it an even cook when it's in the water bath. So I have to trim it down and it gets a little bit awkward uh, to kind of get it back in and get it actually sealed up. It takes me a few attempts here. I actually cut out about 10 minutes of this, which it shouldn't have been 10 minutes long. But that's just the kind of way it is. And I think that actually ends up kind of summing up me on YouTube to teaching myself Photoshop for thumbnails editing it myself i have got some assets from a few people in the past and then i kind of learned to do assets and after effects and and all that sort of stuff right i am still learning i'm still learning how to make good videos i'm still learning how to make it more digestible for people i'm still learning about overlays and graphics and stuff and and trying to do it myself which is obviously not going to look as slick and professional as some people but you know there is budgets to work to here and try and keep going out even just doing the podcast cost me money per month just for software to to run it and, and to host it and do all that sort of stuff but it's something that if it's worth doing it's worth you know doing well and learning how to do it and i'm, I'm happy to continue to try and do that and it's the same thing with this sous vide machine right this thing wouldn't seal either this time so it sealed early last time and now it won't seal so eventually i have to turn the machine on and off and flick it and kind of get it to go itself to it gets all kind of sealed in there with the rosemary and the garlic and the salt and pepper which has gone in the aromats always a little bit worried about putting garlic in with a steak when you sous vide it by the way because i don't know whether it'll be too powerful but it didn't seem too bad in the end but there you go all in you're probably wondering why on earth has he got a spoon well the spoon is actually to weigh it down when it goes into the water bath which i believe is where we're going to go to now and realistically you know once it goes in there it's just going to stay there for several hours and uh, basically do nothing like i said it's a very even method of cooking it should get it basically rare medium rare all the way through which is what i want because it is going to be seared at the end and there we go into the water bath with my lovely uh sous vide cooker and the spoon very important because it will weigh it down but i put it at 54 and it was about 
two hours. I actually think I set it for an hour and a half first because I would like to know the alarm going off and it allows me to get everything else prepared. The infamous spoon that's got to weigh it down. And then that'll just sit there. Um, if you ever use one of these, it's so hands-off. It's just like an oven, essentially. You just leave it and it's all good. I just put that on there for a bit of keeping a bit of the heat in and just to make sure nothing falls in the water. Um, I actually put some wedges on. I wasn't gonna, I was going to make homemade wedges, but I really couldn't be bothered. I'm not going to lie to you. I quite like those wedges. They're just lightly spiced wedges. I got some asparagus as well. You know, give it a quick rinse and then chop the ends off. Uh, and it's very, very nice. It's just going to be steamed uh, and then maybe run through the pan where the steak has gone on through as well. And it's, it's, uh, oh, and some broccoli. I found some tender stem broccoli. I haven't really had that much tender stem broccoli before, but you've got to de leaf it and everything. And I, I took all the leaves off and everything else. But one of the things that I am trying to do with youtube is obviously grow it and continue to put out content but i i'm really struggling and i have been struggling with accepting videos if they're good enough accepting whether or not i should put stuff out right when i first started kind of getting more into this a couple of months ago people were very upset with some of the thumbnails i was putting in. you know they were, they were quite jokey i was learning it's like i don't really know a lot about it and the old photoshop i used to do was a decade ago and i used to do car photos modified car photos and even then it was step-by-step -step stuff um, and now, you know, it's, it's all like super fancy clickbait thumbnails and everything. And I like making thumbnails that are very much entertaining uh, as well. And just to be clear, that's all going into there to be steamed. And I, I, I'm hoping that people appreciate the content I give because I try and be educational. And I hope when I expand that content for more and more things within Warzone, within Call of Duty, the esports side, some of the projects I want to do coming up. But also, some of the other games I enjoy, right? A lot of people don't know I'm massively into strategy games. And I hope people will enjoy me going through some of them and why I think they're good or just how much fun they can be. Uh, and by the way, this is the steak done. This is two hours later. And the steak has been cooking now in the water bath. So we empty it out. We get rid of all the, the juices that have kind of poured out of it and uh, gone. So it's not really a problem. We don't need to use that again. It's still going to be incredibly tender. As you can probably see here, it's so incredibly tender. I actually have a little bit of trouble when um, I pick it up to, to make sure it doesn't actually fall apart in my hands. Uh, which is important here, and I'm just getting the rosemary up because I decided to stick some on top and not get it. A little bit more salt, just in case. I probably didn't put a lot on before, and I can tell that it's already not that salty. But this is this is cooked through because it's been here for like two hours. It, the the temperature has been held there, so it's perfectly safe. You can actually do chicken at a lower temperature than usually recommended because the bacteria will die in that time. Unfortunately, with steak, you don't really need to worry about it too much. So we put it into a ripping hot pan. As you can see, the smoke is already coming off of it. That's going to go straight in here uh, at, a, at a very high temperature. I actually end up putting the temperature up just a little bit more just to make sure that the once it hits that pan, it's all good. It's an induction hob, so it, it kind of reacts very, very well. Make sure it's packed dry. It's got to be super dry to get a nice crust onto it. The Maillard reaction, the Maillard reaction, it's one of those two things, but it's it's good eats. It's just very, very delicious. Um, and uh, I showed somebody this footage before <laughs> before making this video, and I said, you are making me very, very hungry here. But this was a great steak, actually. Um, the marbling doesn't look fantastic on it, but I can promise you that it was unbelievably good uh, when cutting it up and eating it as well. And I suppose that uh, is the same for my YouTube channel, right? I feel like sometimes it's not the most prettiest of content I put out, but I hope when you dive into it, it's at least somewhat factual, and you can somewhat get an enjoyment out of it. And at least learn a little bit, especially on some of the more educational videos where I cover more widespread things in the industry and the eSport to begin with. I just committed a cardinal sin there. You shouldn't really ever check the steak, but like I said, because it's already cooked, the steak is actually already cooked. I could eat it just like this and be perfectly fine, but we want a little bit of a, of, of a sear on it to get through, and, and there is the money shot. There is the beautiful sear that has gone onto it there as well. Um, and now I'm actually going to just check my aromats back in, the rosemary and the garlic, just uh, just to kind of infuse with the with a little bit of butter that's going to come in here as well and give it a bit of a baste. If anything from this, I learned that maybe I even did it a little bit too long in the pan because while it is a decently thick steak, uh, it's probably got a little bit too long in there to begin with, but it's still a beautiful medium rare and steak's such a good thing. Sous vide is such an easy way of cooking. I've done great pulled pork with it. I've done great chicken with it. I've done uh, roast beef with it once, and I probably will do again at some point. But again, this is just something that I'm very passionate about. And if you have known me for a while, I used to enjoy smoking American meats for a while before my smoker was a bit too inefficient to, to keep running throughout the year. And 
who knows? If I reach 10,000, maybe it's barbecuing time and I'll, I'll break it out and spend an inordinate amount of money on meat and uh, and wood to, to kind of get that one going as well. But yeah, I can tell. You guys are all pretty hungry. I was at this point, actually. I hadn't eaten during the day and this is probably about 4 o'clock. Uh, I actually went around to eat it, which is just a weird dinner time because it's not lunch and it's not dinner. Um, but yeah, it, it obviously it looks amazing. It smelled incredible as I was cooking it. Uh, as I just get a bit of colour on the sides here because you know Sivine just takes turns everything a bit grey uh, and go through and and that's pretty much my steak done. Like I said, it wasn't in there for very long at all and now you just got to leave it to rest. Uh, I end up leaving it to rest and I think I tied up a bit while I while I let this one actually end up going through. Uh, and you can see there's a few little bit of a jump and as we cut through it. Now I was a little bit worried when I saw this because the light doesn't give it the the full justice. But as you can see, that's just pink the whole way through perfectly cooked edge to edge as well so because it doesn't really matter when you're cooking with this method um how thick the steak is in various parts because it's a water bath it'll just cook it to that temperature and that temperature only and it can wait there for ages not too long and here comes my accoutrement it's going to be some some lovely asparagus that we saw earlier that was steamed and i actually ended up running this through because i had a, a decent amount of like butter left in that pan I thought, you know what, I'll just give them a little bit of a, of a quick jar and it ended up making the plate dirty because it soaked up a lot of that like brown butter flavour and they were delicious. I promise you they were delicious. Uh, and another thing, here comes the, the lightly kind of spiced wedges. They were cooked great as well. I really enjoy these. Not too much effort on my part for it, but this was my celebration dinner and I really thank you all for kind of tuning in and watching me and helping me grow and subscribing. It's been a pleasure and I hope it continues and I hope you've liked this video of something different. Maybe I'll cook some more stuff in the future. Who really knows? But I'm going to go eat this now. <laughs> it's all for me. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into YouTube and into content. I'll see you all next time.